Today, for a random act of science, we are going to make a popsicle stick light um, or a flashlight. So first you're going to need an LED light, a small watch battery or clock battery. I have two different sizes here. You're going to need some tin foil, glue, tape, any type of tape will do as long as it's not a conductive metal tape and a flip back clip. You want to make sure that it is a metal clip and not a plastic clip so that it conducts the electricity. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our light works and you have a long side and a short side on your little pieces here. Usually the long side is the positive. So we're going to take our battery and put what we think is the positive side on the positive side of the battery. There's a little plus sign there and the negative side usually has a grid on the bottom and push it together and I don't know, it works, push, works. So we know that our light works, so that's great. And we know that our battery works, so that is also great. Then we're gonna take our tin foil and we're gonna cut out two small squares. I've already done that. And we are going to fold it to make a smaller square and make the tin foil just a little bit thicker so that it is about the width just inside of our popsicle stick. I'll show you that close. And we're going to do that with the other one as well. Fold it to make it a little thicker and a little smaller. And on one end of our popsicle stick, this side we're going to put the light on. We're going to glue down our pieces of tinfoil just need a little bit to make it stick. Not too much glue. Looks like so. Nice and shiny on both sides of our stick. Now we want to try to remember which side is our positive and which side is our negative on our light. So as I said, my long side is the positive. So I'm going to make a little plus sign down here on my flashlight so that I remember that this is the positive side. And I'm going to take my light and I'm going to put it over top of the edge with the positive side on my positive side. So now I have the positive side oh, on one side and the other leg on the other side, both touching the tin foil. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take more tin foil and we're going to cut a nice long strip and I'm going to fold it in half like so. Make sure that it's not wider than my popsicle stick so I'm just going to give it another quick little fold to make a little kind of a wire and I'm going to run some glue down the middle of this and I'm going to glue it so that it covers the wire of the light and goes down the middle and you don't want it to go all the way to the end so I'm just going to leave this sticking up for now and then I'm going to cut one more piece and do the same thing on the other side. Now our light might fall off because it's not secure yet, but we are going to make it secure in a moment. Mine's still a bit wide, so I'm going to give it another fold to make a nice strip. Carefully flip this over, put some glue on my stick. Oh, my light's falling off, I'm just going to move it for now. And I'm going to put this down the middle. Way too much tin foil, but that's okay for now. And leaving this flap open. 
and this flap open. So I've got tin foil, tin foil glue to the stick on either side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my light in here. Now I'm going to get a piece of tape. I'm using what they call electrical tape, um, really just so that you can see what I'm doing with it. It's and it's nice and bright blue, but you can use scotch tape or um, any masking tape, whatever you've got. Um, so here now I've slipped my positive side on my positive side of the stick so that it is on top of the tin foil that we glued down and the negative side on the negative side so it is on top oh up there up there on top so on top of the tin foil and on top of the tin foil and now we're going to sandwich it in because we want it to be very touching all the foil so I'm going to sandwich it in and then I'm going to give it a tape down with that so there we go so now the little pieces of metal on the light are sandwiched between the two pieces of tin foil should give it some good conductivity. Now we are going to put measure out how we want our clip on there. So we're going to put our clip on the other end and we want to be able that it's going to touch the foil. So just below where the clip is, about one finger length, I'm going to give it a cut, flip it over, and I'm going to do the same thing on this end. Just kind of one finger length. Now that our shows that our clips are going to touch, that's going to make our circuit complete. All right, so we need some power. We have to add on our battery and put both switches on. Now our battery. Do you remember which side is the positive side? Oh, good thing I marked it. You want your positive side of your battery to be facing down on your positive side of your. Um, stick. And what we want it to do is we want it to line up so it touches both the clip and the tin foil. And you want it to touch as much of the clip as possible. Now it easily falls out as you can see. So we're going to have to secure it. So we're going to need another little piece of tape. And you want to make sure that the metal is touching the metal so it's a little bit tricky. I'm going to take another piece of my electrical tape. As I said before, you can use scotch tape or whatever you want. And I'm going to secure it to both, kind of make a little pocket for it, so that it's secured both to the metal and to the tin foil. Now we can't really see our battery, but it is in there and it should be secure. but we don't want any metal touching this side. Now, if we've done everything correctly, when I throw this switch and it touches this tin foil, it should light up our light. <gasps> Ta-da! Now, if your light is not working, you might have a few spots, you might not have a good connection up here, or your battery might not be connected very well to both pieces of metal. Yeah. Light off, light on. Nice, good switch. And there you go, popsicle light stick or flashlight. Enjoy your random act of science.